Okay, we got one more to show you, but I do need somebody to help me out with this trick. Uh, maybe, maybe, let's see, what, what is your name here? Joni. Joni? Give Joni a nice round of applause. Joni, come on now. Let's hear it for Joni. Hi, Joni. Thank you so much for helping me. Now, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that you have a ring I could borrow. Do you have a ring I could borrow? Excellent. Is, is that the wedding band? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I thought it came off pretty easy, but that's very good. Joni, uh, I appreciate And that's very lovely ring. I appreciate you letting me borrow. I want to give you like a thank you collateral type thing. Okay, Joni? Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Joni? Um, oh, ooh, it's a good night. We have a, a lemon. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Joni's excited, okay. Now, Joni, I really appreciate you letting borrow the ring, and the reason I borrowed it from you is I'm going to show you a brand new invention. It's actually an invention of my own. I'm quite proud of it. It's called a bag of invincibility. I have it right here. Whatever is placed inside of the bag of invincibility becomes completely and totally invincible. I'm going to demonstrate this for you all this evening with Joni's very, very lovely uh, ring. We place the ring inside the bag. The ring is now completely and totally invincible. I'm going to show you what I mean. Hold on to the top of the bag just like that. Here's where things get cool. Watch this. Watch this. I need a couple things. Let's see. I need. Uh, um, oh, there it is. There it is. Do I have it? Okay. Ready? Watch this. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> Not so much. Okay, Joni. I know you're a little worried. Look, you have nothing to worry about. Think about it. It's been a pretty solid show so far, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, this is in the bag of invincibility. Look, I don't want to touch the bag. Hope to take the bag again. Hold it by the string. I want you to kind of give it a little jingle by your ear. Just a little jingle by your ear. Do you hear a bunch of little pieces? <laughs> right? yeah. oh, you do. <laughs> you're not supposed to. That's okay. Joni, open up the bag. Just open up the bag. Dump the contents right there. Everybody see that uh, you have nothing to worry about. The ring was in the bag of invincibility. <laughs> Ah, nuts. <laughs> Get it, there's nuts inside the bag, and I said, uh, Okay, I'll tell you what, Joni, Joni, look, is the bag empty? The bag's empty, yeah? I mean, no ring. Check this out, check this out. This is cool. Joni, think about this. Before we ever put your ring inside the bag, before we ever put your ring inside the bag, I gave you the lemon, right? right? Before we ever put the ring inside the bag, I gave you the lemon. You never know what's going to be inside the lemon, right? Uh -huh. You never know! Uh -huh. No, think about it. How many times have you been home and you open up a lemon, bam, diamond ring? Yeah. That's right! Uh -huh. <laughs> Joni, I came prepared. I brought my Swiss Army knife. You think about it, it's a good thing them Swiss never got any wars. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender. Joni, you never know. You never know exactly, exactly what's going to be inside of that. You never know. No way. You never know. You never know exactly what's going to be inside of Get it? Exactly? <laughs> Watch the egg. This is kind of cool. Nut. Nut. There's a nut inside the egg. Joni, take the nut. Think about this. Think about this. A second ago, we put your ring inside this bag, dumped out nuts. <laughs> I know. It doesn't open. It's a real nut. Oh. <laughs> no, but think about this. If you're if if the nuts were inside the bag, kind of makes sense that somehow your ring's inside that walnut. Sure. Rings inside that nut. You got you got a pretty good story. I mean, you go home, you tell your friends, say, "Yeah, I went and saw this magic show last night." Uh, it, it just it, pretty cute. I, uh, I gave him my ring. <laughs> I gave him my ring. He put it in his bag. Bangs on it. Nuts came out of the bag. Right in front of my eyes. Nuts came out of the bag. He took a lemon. Took a lemon. Right in front of my eyes. I saw him. Took a lemon. Took a knife. Opened up that lemon. Inside that lemon was an egg. <laughs> he took that egg, he cracked that egg open Inside that egg was a walnut, inside that walnut was my ring They're going to say, you're crazy, it had to be like a trick walnut or something. Oh, yeah. You're holding on to it, is that a real walnut? Yeah. It is a real walnut, I mean it doesn't open It's a real thing yeah. Then it's not plastic, it's not clay Next thing they're going to say, okay, he did some sleight of hand thing He had it hidden up his sleeves, right? Look, my sleeves have been rolled up the whole show I've never used my sleeves for magic As far as you know right. Yeah, and so, and then they're going to say Okay, well he, he did some sleight of hand type thing You know, I had it hidden in his hand So look, I'm going to take off my ring I'm going to take off my watch. That way there's no confusion. My, my hands are completely empty. 
Then they're going to say he had some fancy nutcracker job. You know, they snuck the ring in when he opened it up. So, so look, Joni, I got about as innocent looking of a nutcracker as I think I could find. You have to admit there's no way your ring can be hidden inside of that, right? Mm -hmm. It's not in my hands. It's not up my sleeves. I'm telling you right now, your ring is inside this walnut. We're going to do this very, very slowly, very, very fairly, and very, very gently. Is that your ring? That is. That is. Let's hear it for Joni. Hi, folks. My name is John Chirac, and I would like to sincerely thank you for purchasing this Ring in Walnut DVD. I thought it would be neat to give you a little history of the effect. Obviously, it stems from the famous stage effect, the Orange Egg Lemon Canary, which has been performed from everyone from David Copperfield to Chris Angel or Tommy Wonder. I first saw it performed by Richie Artie Jr. I thought it was a phenomenal trick, and I wanted to instantly add it to my stage routine. I quickly realized it was pretty difficult to, uh, to set up the trick every show. You had to cut the lemon, cut the egg, and, and cut the, or the uh, orange. So I had what I thought was a pretty clever idea, and that was to make the produce out of rubber fruit. That way you wouldn't have to redo it every time. You could just reseal it up. So I went to Bruce Martin, who was a magician in Tucson, Arizona, where I'm from, who had a company that manufactured rubber, rubber products. And I had him manufacture me some uh, orange, lemon, and egg out of rubber so that I could do the trick. Well, I marketed it back then, and it was quite successful. A lot of people thought it was a neat idea. Um, I was picking up an uh, order from Bruce on my way to a convention in Los Angeles called the Day of Magic. This is in probably 95 or 96. And when I was picking up this, this rubber product order, Bruce also manufactured a ring in, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not a ring, a, a pea and shell game. And so he had a 50 pound bag of walnuts next to this order. Um, I saw the produce, I saw the walnuts, and in passing, Bruce had mentioned something about how it would be neat to do a close-up version of the orange egg lemon canary trick. So in the eight-hour drive to Los Angeles, I thought about it, and I thought, well, it'd be neat to have a ring appear inside a walnut, which was inside of an egg, which was inside of a lemon, which was inside of an orange. Uh, I worked out a method in my mind on the drive to Los Angeles. That night when I got there, I tried it out. Lo and behold, it worked, and I actually performed it the next day for the first time. Uh, I've since uh, obviously changed the routine and updated it, but... It has served me very, very well. I've done it in lectures and magic conventions and performances throughout the world for well, close to the last 15 years. So it is my pleasure to share it with you this evening. I hope you have as much fun with this trick as I have. It really has served me well. Thanks. Okay, here's what you need to perform the ring and walnut trick. First, we need a nutcracker. We need a hammer, a small hammer. Now this is actually one of those hammers you buy at like Ace Hardware where it's got a screwdriver in the middle. Uh, but the hammer doesn't matter, obviously. This one's kind of neat though. Also an X-Acto knife. We need a grapefruit spoon. Grapefruit spoons have a serrated edge right here so it makes uh, scooping out the lemon a little bit easier. You also need a paring knife or I use a Swiss Army knife so I can tell the little joke that you saw in the performance. Also, we need a drawstring bag. This is about three inches by two inches or so. This one's made out of kind of a fake leather. It can be made out of any material. Um, and we also need a thumb tip. Now, the thumb tip, you want to get a thumb tip that's really soft and pliable because you're going to place a ring inside of this. And if it's a stiff thumb tip and you end up with a larger ring, it's difficult to get it in. So I found uh, these really soft, cheap thumb tips work the best. We also need contact cement and some Q-tips to apply the contact cement. Also, super glue gel. I prefer super glue gel because it goes on the limb a little bit easier when you glue it together. The, the, uh, the non-gel that super glue can drip down in and sometimes the egg will stick to the rind of the lemon. And speaking of produce, you also obviously need some produce. You need a lemon, an egg, and a walnut. Now first I'll talk a little bit about the walnuts. Um, you can't buy walnuts in stores year-round. In the summertime, they're not available in grocery stores. But I have found a source online. It's pretty simple. It's called Nuts Online. I'll put it right there. NutsOnline.com. You can buy walnuts in bulk. You can buy a pound bag up to a 50-pound bag. They're pretty reasonable, and you can get a good fresh walnut any time of the year. Uh, the egg, you want to get, I wouldn't say any larger than the large size. Extra large can sometimes be too big. Um, the smaller the egg the easier it is to fit inside a lemon. 
Um, and speaking of lemons, you want to make sure the lemon is definitely larger than the egg. You don't want to cut the lemon open and then try and stuff the egg in and have it not fit. When you get a lemon, if possible, feel the rind. Make sure it's uh, pretty firm. I found that the lemons that have a more firm rind um, have a thicker rind and it's easier to glue them back together. So that's what you need. Go to the store. Happy shopping and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, and now for the preparation of the produce. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is prepare the walnut. Now the walnut needs to be split along the seams and then the nuts taken out of the inside. Here's the easiest way I've found to do it. Take an X-Acto knife and grip the nut, the nut with your uh, pinky. And I'm using the pinky on my right hand because I'm left-handed and I'm going to do the hammering with my left hand. So I'm gripping the nut here. I place the X-Acto knife along the top of the seam with the blade down and then hold that with the index finger and thumb. Then take the hammer, tap down on the X-Acto knife, and you see it starts to go into the nut. Once it gets started, you can just kind of slide it along and you get half of the nut cracked. Reverse the process or do the same process on the opposite side. Again, I place the, nut with the, or the, the knife with the blade down, hammer it in a little bit, and then just slide it down. Now, the nut easily comes apart. Now we need to remove the center or the walnuts from the nut. Uh, take the X-Acto knife, use the blade to kind of cut the stem here at the base of the walnut, and then you can squeeze it or press the blade in and pull the, pull the nuts out. Now, it doesn't matter if these nuts get cracked as they come out. They're going to be shattered later on in performance anyway. So, so get them cleared out pretty good. There's one of them. Clear out the various gook on the inside. Do the other side just the same. Now we have a nutshell. You're going to take these nuts and place them inside the drawstring bag. Just grab some of the whole nuts, place them inside the drawstring bag, and then also place the thumb tip into the bag. Tip down just like that. Now you have a bag prepared and the nutshell is, uh, is cleared out. The next thing we have to prepare is the lemon and the egg. Here's where things get a little messy, a little fun, but it's all part of the trick. First thing we need to do is hollow out the egg. Now, some of you may have done this when you were a kid uh, at Easter time. Basically, we're going to poke a hole in the top and the bottom of the egg and then blow the contents of the egg out. So, take your X-Acto knife, just tap the top of the egg until you get a little hole. Keep tapping. You want to get the hole to be eh, about an eighth of an inch or so in, in circumference. This way, you know, it's pretty easy for the, for the contents to come out. If you make the hole too small, it can be really hard to blow, and if you make it too big, it's a lot more obvious. So get a decent hole up there, turn the egg over, get a hole on this side. And this next part is a little gross, but fun nonetheless. Hold the egg over a sink or a trash can and just blow the contents out. There you go. Now, some people might think if you're doing this trick quite a few times, uh, you would want to prepare a bunch of these eggs in advance. I found that it's better not to. And the reason why is when the egg or when the walnut appears inside the egg, as you saw in the performance, it really looks like it's coming out of the center of the egg. If you allow the egg to dry, in other words, if you were to prepare these a week in advance or so and allow the egg to dry out, when you squeeze the walnut in, as you'll see later on in the explanation, the egg will shatter and it's not quite as impressive. So anyway, there's your prepared egg. Now we need to prepare the lemon. Basically, I'm going to cut the lemon in half, scoop out the insides, put the egg inside of it, and then glue it back together. Now, if you were to cut the egg or the lemon exactly in half, you would have a little problem. The problem you would have, it would be difficult to put the lemon back together. Okay? So I found it better to cut the egg along the circumference here, or not the circumference, but about a quarter or a third of the way to the top, and do it with a little curve. I'll show you what I mean exactly. Take a knife around here, about a third or a quarter of the way to the top, squeeze in, and then you're going to cut it in kind of a kind of a circle. Now let me show you why that's important. This way, when you go to put the, put the lemon back together, it's really easy to line it up. I think that kind of makes sense. 
Now we need to clear the tender of the, uh, the lemon out. What I found is easiest, take the uh, grapefruit uh, spoon. You're going to kind of squeeze it in along the middle like that. Kind of clear out the middle, allow some of the juice to come out. Now here's the easiest way I found to remove the, the lemon. Start just a little bit away from the lemon, slightly into the rind. Squeeze that spoon in and get it started. You want to have some separation there. Now continue with your finger and just kind of work your way down and around. And with a little bit of practice, you can get pretty good at this. Just kind of using my finger to squeeze everything off. Now it's important that you remove all the lemon all the way to the rind uh, to have this work good. Okay, there's the majority of it. You can see I still have a little bit left, so I'm going to kind of use the spoon to clean things up. So there's the top part of the lemon, or the bottom part of the lemon. Now we're going to do the same thing uh, with this little top piece. It's a little bit easier because obviously there's less to clear out. Just kind of squeeze in, work your way around. And there you go. Okay, here comes the fun part. We're going to place the egg into the lemon and then super glue it on place. So, now if you look at this, the, the, the hole is too small for the egg. This really isn't a problem because of those two holes in the egg. Uh, you can squeeze the egg in real easily. The air escapes through those two little holes. Okay, now I'm just going to glue this on top. And again, since I cut it with this curve, it's going to make it a lot easier. So, take the super glue, apply a generous amount right around there. Put your top on, line things up, and uh, make sure you don't have any little lemon pulp sticking out. Sit aside, let it dry, and you're ready to go. Now this preparation you could do a day before the show, you'd still be fine. If you were to do this uh, quite a few days, obviously the lemon would start to deteriorate. And uh, for the freshest looking lemon, I found it's best to do it you know, the day of the show, an hour before or whatever. But it's not a problem doing it the day before the show. Anyway, that's the preparation of the produce. Have fun. Okay, here is your final pre-show preparations. We have the uh, bag prepared with the walnuts and uh, thumb tip inside. This goes in your briefcase, along with the lemon, which has had time to dry. Uh, the egg is obviously inside it. That goes in the briefcase. The hammer goes in the briefcase. The uh, nutcracker goes in the briefcase. The knife goes in the briefcase. And you're going to have to prepare the walnuts. This is where the contact cement comes into view. Now, contact cement is a pretty neat product. What it is designed to do is you apply it to two surfaces of, of uh, wood or whatever, allow it to dry, then when it sticks together, it makes a really, really solid bond. Um, it works great for this trick. Um, I found the easiest way to apply it to the walnuts is to use a Q-tip. So, we'll remove the top. and simply get some glue on the tip of a Q-tip and apply it along the seam of the shell. Now you want to be pretty liberal with this, but you want to be careful not to get the glue on the outside of the shell. This way when it glues together, there won't be any residue on the outside. So again, a pretty liberal amount on both sides of the shell. Now, if you were to read the instructions of the contact cement, it says to let it dry at least 15 minutes and no more than two hours. So, you definitely want to uh, follow those rules and apply the glue at least 15 minutes prior to the time you're going to perform the trick. If you're going to do the trick later on in your show, let's say an hour into the show, you want to do this right before, uh, right before the show starts. But if this is going to be your opening effect, you'd want to prepare at least uh, 15 minutes, a half hour before you do the show. So. Simply lay it on like that, allow this to sit and dry, and then you're going to put these in the briefcase as well. 
Now, most of the time, I simply just stick them in the briefcase. But sometimes you're in a situation where you have to carry the briefcase into where you're performing condition or whatever, and you don't want to have give these uh, walnut shells an opportunity to uh, to go together. So I would just put them in a in an egg crate like this. This keeps them separate. You can put them in your briefcase. They're safe. They're ready to go. Now you're prepared to perform the trick. Okay, so now we're ready to perform the trick. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is borrow a ring. Uh, give you a little bit of advice about the ring you select. Uh, in my experience, you want to definitely get a lady's ring because they're more petite. They easily fit inside of a thumb tip, and they also fit inside the, uh, the walnut better. Uh, and uh, you want to get a ring that's recognizable for obvious reasons. So, in my opinion, the best ring to borrow is, is, a, is an engagement type ring. So, borrow the ring from the spectator, offer them as collateral a lemon. Obviously, this is your prepared lemon. Now, you don't want to let them really examine this lemon because it is glued together, and if they were to get a little crazy with it, they could you know, pop it apart. So, so give it to them casually, get your laugh, and then you just sit it aside. Now, you mentioned the bag of invincibility. Take out the bag. Again, inside the bag is a thumb tip with the, with the walnuts. I'm going to grip the bag from the outside right on top of the thumb tip right here. Thusly. Now, as you apparently place the ring into the bag, you are simply putting the ring right into the thumb tip and putting the thumb tip onto your thumb. Immediately come out and grab the drawstrings and pull them taut. Now you can see the thumb tip is hidden and concealed quite well. If you immediately hand the bag to the spectator, you're pretty clean. Uh, I'm sure you guys know how to handle a thumb tip, but in my opinion, the, the best thing to do to conceal a thumb tip is to forget it's there. If you, uh, if you try and do stuff like this, I think you're calling attention to your thumb. If you just forget it's there, uh, it's concealed better. So, Anyway, you hand the bag to them, and then you say you're going to break out you know, the proof that it's a bag of invincibility. I go into my briefcase. While in my briefcase, I quickly dump the ring out and stick it into half of the walnut. It's only in one half at this point. Okay? That is as I come out with the hammer. Now you crush the nuts, then give the bag to the spectator to dump the nuts out. Now, while they are dumping the nuts out, um, you have some pretty good misdirection. Everybody's watching those nuts come out, and you get a laugh. While that's happening, I put the hammer back into the briefcase. This time, when I go into the case, I take the nutshells, and I just stick them together. Now, because of this contact cement, it instantly bonds, and it bonds really strong. I mean, that really makes it a good, a good bond. It's very, very difficult to pull this apart. Uh, this, this nut can exam, withstand some pretty, pretty scrutinous examination. Okay, so again, this is here. Now the ring is inside the nutshell. The nuts are on the table. You got your laugh. The ring is vanished. Now call attention to the uh, lemon. Okay, say I'm gonna you never know what's gonna be inside a lemon. Pull out your knife. Now because we cut the lemon on this side, we have a really clean, fresh lemon over here that we can cut open to show the egg on the inside. Uh, that was another reason for offsetting this cut. So. I go in kind of a curly cue, and since that egg really is inside of the lemon, you want to make sure the audience can definitely see the egg coming out. So, real slow, real fair, do kind of a curly cue type thing, and slowly that egg starts to appear. And what else is neat about this, it almost looks like you're cutting that uh, lemon rind off exactly. You know, they see the white, they don't know it's an egg until, that, until you reach in and pull it out and show, oh, wait a minute, we got an egg. So, that's pretty cool. Now, as you return the lemon and the knife to your briefcase, all you do is pick up that walnut. Okay, now I'm going to hold the walnut in a Ramsey type subtlety, meaning I'm going to curl my fingers around the top of the walnut shell so that you can kind of see the palm of the hand. This comes out like this, then you place the egg right in the palm of the hand. So, this only happens for a second, but now when you squeeze, what's going to happen is that nut is going to get um, squozen inside of the egg shell. It looks something like this. In slow tight motion. See how the egg kind of gets placed inside of the shell? Now you can get a pretty cool reveal where it looks like that nut really came out of the inside of the walnut. Or right inside of the egg shell. Now this is pretty cool. You have their ring inside of a nut that they can examine. I think you want to take advantage of this. You want to make sure that they look at the nut, verify it is a real nut shell, and you want to be really clean when you open up the nut. 
Uh, but I think it would be crazy to let the spectator crack open the nutshell themselves because they could do so with enough force that they could damage the ring. Now, I have performed this trick for 15 years. I've done it hundreds, if not thousands of times, and so far I've never had any problems with damaging the, the ring. But I do, uh, I do open the nutshell with a lot of caution, and uh, I can't emphasize enough how important it is that you do so with a lot of caution because it is obviously someone else's ring. So we take our nutcracker, and we're going to open up the nut now. If you were to squeeze the nut by the by the seam where you typically would open a nut, uh, you could cause the nut to open up where you just glued it together, and it wouldn't look quite as natural. So I found it's a little bit better to squeeze it along the top and bottom, kind of squeezing the nut together where you glued it together. And then you apply some pressure. Again, subtle pressure. You don't want to crack this thing hard. You want to just kind of get a little break like that. And now you're very fair. You just take it open. They see the ring, reach inside, pull it out. You've done a miracle, and that is the ring and walnut trick. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lot of fun with it, and I thank you again.